you're you. Yes, you. You who have made me like this. Made me so desperate for any attention you'd give me. N- nope. I'm in love with you. And you're all that I can think about. Whoa, okay, that was... I. I need to stop. You can do it. You can do it. <sighs> okay. I've never written a love letter before. Or made any sort of love confession in my life. This is all so new. But you made me so... <clears throat> There's not a part of me brave enough to do anything love related. I'm not sure if it's rejection of... Or if it's just you that I fear. <laughs> not that you're in any way scary. You're so handsome. <laughs> oh my gosh. But in an effort to just, you know, get this all off of my chest. This is a thing I'm writing. We met sa org and this is no stellar love story. It just happened. A mistake on my part, perhaps? Working with you on a couple projects had us friends. And I watch you perform on stage. You're so amazing when you sing. It makes my heart flutter. <laughs> but then, after countless social interactions with you, I kind of just develop feelings. I mean, some for you. It just happened. I could list all the reasons why I feel the way I do, but I'm running out of time and guts and brain cells. Stop! I am a mess. I'm in distress. There should be a lot of things on the top of my priority list and thinking of you and analyzing every conversation we've had shouldn't be on top. And yet, here I am. I have exams to study for, grades to maintain, and family matters to worry about, but, but you. Even after doing all those, you're my pastime. The timbre of your voice haunts the space in the back of my head. Your singing is almost like a playlist when I walk from place to place. And when I fantasize at night, it's your crinkling eyes and laughter. In the random moments where we touch hands, accidentally or not, I'm almost tempted to never wash them, but ew, no, diba? There's a pandemic going around. I can't afford to get sick. And yet, here I am, sick in love. What? Have I mentioned I'm a mess? If there's a universe where I'm brave enough to approach you, and maybe even flirt with you, make my intentions clear, I travel there and replace that version of me. But even then, I don't know if you'd ask me out. Or should I ask you out? I've never been one to take initiative. But maybe for you, I'd do anything. I'd be brave enough to break the brick wall around my comfort zone. Writing this letter is in itself a testament to my newfound bravery. Or delusion. Oh my god, get a grip, me! <laughs> okay, look. I've never liked uncertainty. And this scares me. I'm beyond terrified because I'm so confused. So thrown off a loop. This is something I can study for or prepare for, but I'm itchy. <laughs> Ew. No, but desperate for something to happen. For something to change between us, even if I can't control it entirely. I'm not ready to get my heart broken. Lay all my cards down. 
It's not that I don't fear rejection. I do. But I have a feeling that if I do nothing, I regret it. We could die tomorrow, you know. There's a pandemic going around and people are so stupid. So I'm leaving this somewhere. Maybe in the org room or in your bag. <laughs> That's too much. Maybe in the hopes that maybe you'll find it and read it. Then, alam mo na that um, there's someone who thinks of you like this. Then I'll observe how you react to it. Stalker much? Anyways. I'll see from there. Signed, your secret admirer. No, your org mate.